here's what you need to know about Roberto Clemente as a baseball player. His statistics were great. He had exactly 3,000 hits, the magic number to get into the Hall of Fame. He was considered the greatest right fielder of his era, 12 gold gloves. He got a hit in all 14 World Series games he played in, led the Pittsburgh Pirates to two world championships um, in different eras, uh, beating the Yankees in 1960 and the Baltimore Orioles in 1971. He won four batting titles. Um, He had a lifetime batting average of 317. And yet, for all of that, to reduce Clemente to numbers is to do him a disservice. Clemente was art, not science. He was beauty in motion. If you saw Clemente play, you would never forget it. I can't tell you how many people I've talked to who have said the same story. They'll say, I was at Shea Stadium or I was at Wrigley Field, or I was at Candlestick Park, or I was at Forbes Field, or Three Rivers Stadium, or County Stadium in Milwaukee, or Chavez Ravine. And I saw Roberto Clemente go deep into the corner in right field and pick up a ball and throw it on a perfect rope to third base or home plate. You can go see somebody hit a home run and you forget it. But if you saw Clemente play right field, and particularly that arm, that golden arm he had, it was an aesthetic experience unlike any other. His uh, sort of herky-jerky, swing-at-anything style at the plate, the ropes he would hit, mostly the right center field. Everything about Clemente was a little different, and it was beautiful and unforgettable. ¶¶ 